Lily, thank you. We are now joined by Phil Moy from AEP to talk more about those power outages caused by the storm. Now crews are handling this situation. Thank you so much for being here. I know a very busy weekend for your crews. Well, it has been, and I think it's going to continue to be. I mean, these high winds have been going all day long, and uh, unfortunately, that's created a real difficulty for us because a lot of the work we do is up in buckets. And when you've got the wind still going, whipping it with gusts of 40 miles an hour, it's just unsafe to be up in that bucket and working, and especially with trees still falling and all that. So we've really got our work cut out for us. Tell me a little bit about some of the damages that you have seen out there. Well, a lot of trees down. That's really the main thing. The soil is so saturated with moisture, and I think some of the footage you all had before of high water and all that just shows that. Very saturated soil, and so that wind coming along is just bringing trees down. And unfortunately, when it brings it down on a power line, it causes a power outage. I know we've seen outages kind of widespread, but give us an idea of how many people are being affected right now by this storm. Well, right now, just in our service area in West Virginia and Virginia, we've got about 40,000 customers out in Virginia, another 32 or 33,000 out in West Virginia. And this storm system, really, I mean, it started over in Illinois or somewhere like that and, and has moved across toward the East Coast. So it's, it's affecting large population centers far beyond our service area. And that is another problem for us. I mean, you, you've got cities of a million people that are just clamoring for resources. It's difficult to get people in here from outside our service territory to help. We need that help. We're trying to get it, but we don't quite yet have it yet. So let's talk about some of those down power lines, because not only are they a problem for obviously people who want their power on, but they can be dangerous while they're out there. What do you recommend if you see an out, a power line well, near you? Yeah, that's a, that's a very good question, good point. Uh, the wind will often bring power lines down, you know, trees on a line, it comes down, goes across a road or what have you. And we always want people to stay away from power line. You can never tell, first of all, you really can't tell whether it's a phone line or a power line. Next, you certainly can't tell whether it's energized or not. So we advise everyone to stay away, to call us and let us know about it. And that's really one of the things we do in the early part of the storm is go out and look for safety hazards. I mean, I have some pictures already of, of places we've been today where we have it marked off with caution tape to keep people away. We don't want people going around lines. We want people to call us and let us know when they see a down line. So Phil, my final question, uh, what does the next couple days look like for your crews? Like you said, you guys are still battling these high winds. Right, we don't even know the extent of the damage yet. I mean, it's still coming. So, you know, we're doing our best to uh, go out there and restore the outages that we know affect large numbers of customers. But until the winds die down and we're able to go out there and safely assess the damage, we really don't even know the extent of the damage we have. I feel like it's gonna be a pretty uh, long week of restoring power throughout our service territory. And you can go on the website, is that correct, to find out where power is out and yes. keep track of all this? You certainly can. Our outage map at AppalachianPower.com, you just go on there, click on the map, zoom in to where you live, and you can see the outage that's affecting your area. And then, too, we also offer mobile alerts and outage alerts. So uh, just like at my home right now, I've got a text alert that says power's out at my home. So, you know, a lot of people signed up for that, and that proactively gives you the message that yes, you're out of power and here's what happened and here's when we believe you'll, you'll be restored. So we continue when people are enrolled in that to give updates as we know more information. That's a very helpful thing for people to have. Bill, thank you so much for coming in here. Thank Once you. again, I know a busy couple days for you and your crews, but good luck out there. Thank you so much. Thank